Okay, so as Ed said, we have a new tool uh, which is available in all versions of SolidWorks called Treehouse. Uh, it launches as a separate application and I see it as being good at, at two things really. One for visually examining the structure of existing assemblies and also used for building new assembly structures up front. So that's what we'll look at first. Um, so I'm going to just come into Treehouse here, drag in my uh, assembly uh, and we'll give that a name. So I'm going to call that Power Pack. Now I want um, a connector part within here, so I'm just going to drag a part in. The two parts that you'll see in here are the various templates that I have within my system. So I'll just drag in this second one and drop it on the assembly and you can see it nests underneath it. Um, this part I'm going to call connector. And what we can do here is uh, we can access the custom properties within the part template and fill them out. So I'm going to give it a description and I'm going to put in the owner details as well. Now both of these uh, files will need uh, drawings to go with them. So I'll just drag in a drawing, put on the assembly there and drop one on the part. So we'll give the drawings a name. And we'll just collapse those so they just disappear underneath. Now for the connector, um, I want multiple configurations. So we'll just go to the configuration section here. Uh, you can see that we start off with a default. I'm going to add in a two pin configuration as well as a three pin configuration. I'm actually going to use the three pin configuration, so we'll just add an instance of that and remove the default. Now when you're building your assembly structures, um, you want to use existing parts, so we can drag those in from a, a Windows Explorer um, window, which I've got to the right hand side. So we'll have a, a holder, we'll drag in, and a battery. Now anything that has uh, a model file already um, will have a thumbnail preview just to indicate that it does exist already. And what we want to do here is we just want to make some adjustments to this. So um, we want four instances of the battery, like so. What we can also do if need be is access the custom properties of any of these files just to view them or make changes to them perhaps. Okay, now when you're happy with the assembly structure, you can build the assembly um, live. So if we go to export to SolidWorks, uh, just choose a folder to save our files to. So that one there is the one that I've got open here. Press OK. You'll see that those files are then just created um, in the Windows Explorer window. Okay, so if we have a look um, open up the power pack drawing. It's just using a, a default template there to create the um, the, the drawing. Um, we see our power pack assembly inside. Um, if we open up the assembly, we see our single connector, we see our holder, and we see the four batteries. The uh, the batteries are just placed on the origin, as is the connect, uh, as is the holder. Uh, you can see there that we're using the three pin variant for the connector. If we open up the connector, you can see it's just an empty part, but if we drill down into its custom properties, we can see the custom properties that we entered within Treehouse. So um, I think that's a, a pretty good way of, uh, of sorting your assembly structures out up front. Now we'll just close those down and we'll have a look at working with an existing file. Okie doke, so um, we'll just switch folders here and we'll just drag in a new assembly or an existing assembly called Hexi should I say. So from there we can see the assembly at the top level um, and we can see all the sub assemblies within it and we can see what's contained within those sub assemblies. Again we get nice thumbnail images of all the components so that looks quite good and um, if we want to add uh, a new file to it we can go back to our uh, Windows Explorer window and then just drag them 
and drop them in from here. So if I bring in that power pack assembly that we just have Treehouse create for us, drop it in, you can see it now exists within our uh, Treehouse structure. So when we're happy with the structure, again, we can just export that out to a specific folder. So, and if we just go ahead and open that assembly now, you'll just see at the bottom it create it contains our power pack assembly, which is just positioned in a nominal position. So, if we go back to our PowerPoint, just to sum, summarize what we've seen there, um, SolidWorks Treehouse allows us to create our assembly structures up front. Um, and we can also edit existing assemblies. We now switch to Ed for Enterprise.